In our lesson today, we look at the topic of energy changes in physical and chemical processes. Subtopic is this law. Objectives of the lesson, we look at stating the law, showing the law in an energy circle, then examples of calculation involving SS law. So we start by looking at what the S law states. SS law states that energy change in converting reactants to products is the same regardless of the route by which the chemical change occurs. Now, from the S law, we are told about the routes. So there are two types of routes. Those they call direct routes, which involve converting reactants to final products, shown as reactant arrow final product, and there'll be change one. Then we have what they call indirect routes, which involve converting reactants to intermediate products, and then to final products, shown as reactants arrow intermediate products, and there'll be change two. Then intermediate product, final product, and there'll be change three. Now the information can be shown in a circle as shown. Reactants, arrow, final products, as direct route. And then we have reactants, arrow, intermediate product, and there'll be change two. And then intermediate product to final product, and there'll be change three. That becomes indirect route. Hence, and there'll be change one equals to and there'll be change 2 plus, and there'll be change 3. Worked example 1. Use the standard enthalpies of combustion below to calculate enthalpy of formation of propane, carbon plus oxygen, RO, CO2, enthalpy of combustion, negative 3.3 kJ per mole, Hydrogen plus half oxygen, arrow, water, enthalpy of combustion, negative 286 kilojoule per mole. C3H8 propane plus 5 oxygen, arrow, 3CO2 plus 4 water, enthalpy of combustion, negative 2209 kilojoule per mole. Now, before calculating the enthalpy of formation of propane, first is to note which one are the reactants, which one is the intermediate product, and which one is the final product. Carbon and hydrogen are the reactants. Propane is intermediate product. Then CO2 and water are the final product. So the relations above can be summarized as there are two ways of getting CO2 and water. One way is to burn carbon directly, CO2, burn hydrogen directly to CO water, or first of all combine carbon and hydrogen to get propane, C3H8, then burn, burn propane and oxygen to form CO2 and water. So the next circle is shown below. Carbon, RO, CO2, hydrogen, RO, water, as in direct route. In direct route will be carbon plus hydrogen, RO, C3H8 propane, and then propane, RO, CO2 plus water. And then balance the number of carbon and hydrogen, plus 3 wedges carbon and 3 wedges CO2, plus 4 wedges hydrogen and 4 wedges water. So calculation will be, as shown below, 3 times negative 3 and 3, so the 3 is because we are given 3 moles of carbon and the negative 3 and 3 is only per mole. So we say 3 times negative 3 and 3 bracket plus 4 times negative 26 close the bracket is equals to the indirect root will be enthalpy formation plus negative 2209. So you get negative 1179 plus negative 1144 equals to enthalpy of formation plus negative 2209. Collect like terms, enthalpy of formation will be negative 2323 plus 2209 gives us negative 114 kJ per mole. Worked example 2. 
use the enthalpy below to calculate the enthalpy of combustion of ethanol carbon plus oxygen RO2 enthalpy of combustion negative 33 kJ per mole hydrogen plus half oxygen RO water negative through negative 26 kJ per mole carbon plus three hydrogen plus half oxygen C2H5 OH Enthalpy formation plus 10 kJ per mole. Solution. So before you draw the energy circle, first identify the reactants, the immediate products, and final products. The reactant is carbon and hydrogen. In the immediate products is ethanol, C2H5. Final products, CO2 plus water. So in the circle will be as shown below. Carbon, RO, CO2. Hydrogen, RO, water. So that's direct root. In direct root will be uh, carbon plus hydrogen, RO, C2H5OH, then C2H5OH, RO, CO2 plus water. Balance the number of carbon and hydrogen. Two where there is carbon, two where there is CO2, three where there is hydrogen, three where there is water. The question will be solved as shown below. 2 times negative 3 and 3 plus 2 times negative 26 equals to enthalpy of combustion of ethanol plus plus 10. Negative 76 plus negative 572 minus 10 is equal to enthalpy of combustion of ethanol. And enthalpy of combustion of ethanol is equal to negative 3068 kilojoule per mole. Learn us at the end of the lesson. In the next lesson, we look at the relationship between heat of solution, lattice energy, and hydration energy.